consider approval of the City of Klinger for the City Manager's Employment Agreement, appointment of Marissa Trejo as City Manager. Uh, David Wolf, City Attorney. Yes, Mayor, members of the Council, this is the proposed employment agreement for uh, Marissa Trejo, and it's for your consideration and for Council discussion and adoption. Hey, Council. Any questions? No questions. I just want to make a comment. <clears throat> so um, the city has experienced um, some turnover this year with uh, police chiefs, city managers, things like that. And so people from the city, they've, or, you know, citizens have come and they've talked to me all the time saying, you know, what are you guys doing? You know, get your act together, get this place straightened up. And so tonight, you know, before we vote, I just want to let the citizens know that over the last, oh, it's probably been about six months, I think, since you've been the, um, the manager interim, I have watched uh, Mrs. Trejo take on a responsibility of uh, director of human resources and city manager at the same time. And I want to just say, I have watched somebody who showed the most integrity that I've probably ever seen before. Um, and, I, and I mean that, because when I have criticism, I, I generally don't hold back. Um, her integrity was phenomenal, in my opinion. Her ability to step up has just been, um, well, we've all been very lucky, quite honestly. Uh, had she not stepped up, we would have been probably in trouble. Um, I want the citizens to also know part of, you know, always looking at the budget, because I'm always looking at the budget. Um, we're talking about combining those two positions, the director of human resource and the city manager, which actually saves our city a considerable amount of money. I want to say it's about 70000 just to the general fund alone. If I'm, somebody let me know if I'm misquoting that. I don't think anyone's, okay. About 70000 just to the general fund alone. That's, that's not, you know, the reason why we're, we're having this vote tonight, though. It, it was really the, um, Mrs. Trejo, when I went around to the different departments, and I did, and I talked to people, um, they really told me that they were on board with what you were doing. They said they like her. They said morale is good. They feel that she is fair. And so I want the citizens to know, you know, we have had a lot of closed session talks about this. I mean, what, five months worth? And um, so I'm really happy we're here tonight. So anyhow, I just wanted to speak that. I wanted to make sure that everybody understood that I was have been incredibly impressed. I think that we have a very good future going forward with her. That's all I have to say on that. I want to concur with that. Mr. Kehoe, too. I think we've uh, had a really good candidate uh, with her, and we actually interviewed some other people, and I, I think she just beat them hands down. And she does sh show integrity, and um, she knows how to take on a job, and she's very professional at it, and uh, she knows how to get people to like her and do what they want, uh, do what she wants them to do. Um, I'm just happy that she's here and she's going to do us a good job and she's going to be the exception for us this year i think so i i, I really hope so anybody else yeah i agree i, I like much of um, what i've seen mrs trejo do uh, at the same time i would very much like to see her continue in the interim status for a while longer so um <clears throat> This is my first year on council. I came into a city manager that we didn't quite see eye to eye. And uh, I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I just couldn't see it. And so um, we had a lot of closed door stuff, went back and forth. After he left, um, Marissa stepped up. Yeah, she was actually put there, <laughs> so <laughs> didn't have much choice. <laughs> so, uh, but, and I was skeptical at the time. In fact, uh, me and Mr. Keogh had many conversations, and, you know, trying to win him over is pretty difficult. And uh, we went back and forth many times about, you know, what is she doing right? What is she doing wrong? Um, 
does she have what it takes to be city manager? And we actually went out to different places and we were kind of scoping to see like, hey, who else could be city manager? We've asked other people like, who else could be city manager of Kalinga? And to me, what it came down to was trust. It came down to trust. Um, you know, the, the city council appoints the city manager. That's basically like the only power play we have. She appoints the police chief. She appoints the fire chief. Uh, she runs our city. When it comes down to it, she's the person that we put in charge. She's the one that we trust to do that. And over the last, since I've been in council, I have gained an enormous trust with her. I've been able to call her at any hour of the night. Um, what I believe that we lacked in previous city managers was someone that was proactive. We've always had people that have been very reactive to things. And that reactive thing can get us in trouble and it can cost us a lot of money. And we've brought ideas as a council, we've brought ideas individually. And by the time I get a chance to call her and ask her if this press release is gonna go out or if this is going to happen, she's already on it. She's already on it. I ask her like, hey, can we work on something with the women's club? She's like, actually, I already sent an email when we were talking. She's like, I, I'm working on it. You know, and that's all I ever hear from her is I'm working on it, I'm working on it. And it's, it's in progress and it always gets done. There's nothing that I have that I can say that she has moved on that hasn't gotten done. And to me, there's two people in, in life. There's a doer and there's a donter. And she's definitely a doer, which is why I support her 100%, and I hope you guys do too. If you guys trust us, you guys elected us, this is the, the person that I would love to see in this position. And I thank you guys. And I thank you, Marissa. Anyone else? Okay, Marissa, would you like to say anything? Well, I wasn't planning on being put on the spot, but... Um, That's why you're city manager. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> um, it, it's been my pleasure serving as the interim city manager for the last few months. Um, I was kind of put into that position, but the reason that I agreed to do it is because we do have a wonderful staff here. And um, I'm very customer service oriented and very big on building relationships with employees, with the community, with uh, vendors, with everybody. And um, we have a group of employees who really fits that. And um, I couldn't do it without the great employees that we have. So I thank you for the kind things that you say. And, and I do believe that I, I try to take action on a lot of things, but it's not just me, it's staff working on things. I mean, even the city source thing got kind of, Sean unwillingly took it on for me. <laughs> so um, I just wanna say it's because of the great staff we have and, um, you know, I, I hope that I can continue to build relationships with our employees and with members of the public. Thank you. Is there any questions from the audience on the subject? Okay, seeing none, um, I'll ask for a motion. I'll make the motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. For roll call, please. Mayor Pro Tem Keo. Aye. Councilmember Bosberg? Aye. Councilmember Rain? At this point in time, I vote no. Councilmember Lander? Yes. Mayor Ramsey? I also vote aye. And I'd like to say congratulations. Thank you.